you have your mic on? I, I don't care if you're recording. Get into it by Math or Matherton. I said Matherton. <laughs> What's up everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're out here in the middle of nowhere in Michigan. We've been here once before with Joe. Joe is currently at work, but we got Jeff with Outdoor Influencer here today. And we're gonna be seeing what we can find here. Last time we were here, we found a couple old horseshoes. So who knows what we're gonna find today. I have my eye on something that looks like a safe right now already as it is. It's straight down. So with that being said, let's go ahead and drop our magnets down and see if we can get this out. All right, so we're gonna be using the Brute Bros 360 again, like always. And we're gonna go ahead and try dropping our magnet down straight onto this and seeing if this is what I think it is. Pretty sure it is, but, oh yeah. So we just grabbed two grappling hooks. Hopefully this is enough to get that safe out. So we are walking down here. I'm gonna to try to get my 360 with my grappling hook on at a certain angle and pull towards the shore as Jeff is lifting it up. Oh, I about went in. All right, man. So we flipped it. Oh, oh my uh, God. You all right, bro? Yeah. Here. All right. Bro, I don't think that thing's ever been open. Nope, we're gonna have to bust it open. I have a crowbar and a hammer. Still. <laughs> Pretty sure we got hooked up pretty good now. We're gonna try to pull. One, two, three. One, two, three. Nope, and I think it just went even farther. So it looks like I found something trying to get stuck back on this. I got some little weird plate with like a V cut out in a circle and a nail. Then we got like five pieces of nails on here. Looks like we got a big piece of sheet metal right here that's actually a door to something that's a little door there's two little hinges right there probably another safe then we got lots of nails <coughs> this weird ring looking thing pretty cool to be honest and then is that what I think it is I thought that was a shell casing but it's not the heck is this thing? It's a handle. Look what I found. Safe door. Or some type thing. of door. It is. Alright, cool. But, yeah. Oh, it's a big old bolt. Look at that. That's a big old bolt. Right to the bridge. Yep. And lots of murder metal. And then we got this weird looking thing. That looks like a hinge to something. Maybe an old belt buckle. Nope. But that's definitely a hinge to something. Put that to the side, that's going into cool finds. Oh, you know what that is? That's a car jack. Yeah, an old school car jack. And then look, we got some weights. As you are saying, we haven't got fishing supplies. Yeah, some big fishing hooks too. Wow, all right. Well, if you guys would like to cop any type of rope or magnets, you can go and click the link down below. I'll take you to Brute Magnets and you can use my discount called Danny Dip 10 for 10% off. Let's see what that is. Ooh, an old bottle top. What'd you find? An old bottle top. Oh, that is an old bottle top. And a magnetic rock. Wow. That's cool. Man, I think we're gonna find a bunch of, uh, like, probably historic stuff over here. One of these. So we got, like, a weird bolt. And this weird, like, piece of metal and two nails. You guys know what this goes to? Let me know in the comments below. Construction sign. Look at that. What the heck is that? Hey, that's really cool, dude. It's an old white tank construction sign. Wonder how that ended up in the water. That must mean that that construction sign is what's underneath the bridge. Dude, I got a mortar. It just broke. There's gunpowder right there, bro. This mortar just broke. It's hissing, though. I don't feel safe. Today, um... Dude, that's a that's a bomb. It just broke though. Get close up. I'm gonna get it off the magnet. So guys, we just found this uh, mortar. Um, we're gonna end up calling this in. 
just because it did break and I don't feel safe with it. That's like an explosive. That's like a stick of dynamite. Yeah, we're going to set right this now. down and we're going to give someone a call. Let's put it in water so it doesn't stay, uh, so it doesn't, because it can't explode without water. Danny, what are you doing right now? We're going to be putting this in this uh, box and filling it with water so it doesn't explode. Explode and change temperatures. And then we're going to have to give 911 a call and probably bomb squad comes out and take it away and deactivate it. Something you'd never want to find is a bomb. Yeah. And it's very scary. But with that being said, let's go ahead and give them a call and we'll come back to you guys. All right, so we got that in the water now. It's soaking. We're waiting on the law enforcement to come. I'm going to do a little bit more fishing since I barely found anything. That's like my first actual find. And yeah, we'll come back to you. What is this? Oh, we got half of an old horseshoe right there. Look at that. That's a little one, too. Pretty cool. Whoa. What is this? Hey, Jeff, we got a problem. We got a problem. I just got a case full of them. There's like 18. I swear you not. Get, get water. There's a whole ammo box of them. Oh... Okay guys, there is at least a dozen right here. My heart is beating. Dude, there's a case of mortars. I'm shaking. No way, bro. Dude, it's a whole box full of them. No way. You just found a whole case of dude, these, dude. they're hissing, they're hissing. I'm getting away. I am shaking, dude. I'm shaking. I gotta get a picture of that. Dude, we thought we found one. We found a whole case. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got 15 mortars right here. So I'm moving these into the shade so the temperature doesn't change. And Jeff is gonna go. I'm gonna walk down there and get uh, sandals all day. We'll That'll be fine. Just soak them in a little bit of water. We got another one. Oh. Dude. You do, wow. You wanna handle it? Yeah, whoa, look at this. We just found another one. That makes 16, that might be all of them. Wow, that is crazy. I can't believe we keep finding these. Another. Is it another? Yep. And there's a part of the- Danny's part. just found another one of these, y'all. Part of the shell. Oh yeah, so where did you throw that? We're gonna throw again right there. So, I just found another one of these. That means we have like 17 of them. We're gonna go ahead and put this one in the water with these. And yeah, we're still waiting on the cops. I'm surprised they're taking so long. So Jeff has a mortar. Do I? Yeah, you do. I finally got one. Holy cow, how many of there are no there? No way, I just found one. Look at this, I'm so excited. Dude, that was stuck to another one. <gasps> Dude, I have another one. Why does that one look bigger? No way! That is huge, guys. I can't believe we keep finding these. We got like an old, like... Dude, is that an old... Oh, that's old and not an old knife. That's like an old piece of... Not an old horseshoe. Hey, that's probably the other half of mine. Yeah, that could be the other half of your horseshoe. Does that look like a knife? Dude, that does look legit. It looks like it was cut like a knife, man. And the handle's just missing. Yeah, dude, I think that's a legit knife, bro. We'll have to clean it up. So if you guys would like to cop a magnet, it's going to be linked down below. And you can use my discount code Danny Dip 10 for 10% off. And don't forget the 360s are coming out late summer in the next couple weeks. You guys want magnet fishing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. yeah. Let me get flipped around. All right. My partner's here too, just in case if it is real. Where is it at? It's over there. Right there. There's three in the bucket, and then there's like, uh, like probably like 14 stuck together in like half of a box. Like 14 of them? There's over 16. Down here? Yeah. I don't know what the bad boys are. How, how far off the bridge did you buy them? Uh, we found them just right over there. See where the tractor's coming down? Just right there on the corner, probably five That's or six feet. Five, five,
Can I get your name for me, sir? Yeah. I'll go get it. And then your name, sir? Daniel. So usually what we do, we call the bomb squad, they come and dispose of it, and then they will also have probably our dive beef block too to make sure there's no other remnants of this laying around and make sure it's a safe area if there are any kids that want to get in the water. Like yeah, because we were going to go kayaking here today. I'm glad we didn't because yeah. that would have been scary pulling that up on a kayak. Yeah, not knowing, you don't know. Like well, I said, we weren't for sure we were if we were supposed to call you guys for this. Like, no, we do. It's a proper way to take care of it because then we mark the location, like I said. You well, I figured since the bridge is from 1898, it's probably from early before the wars. Ago. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't in that casing, were they? No, the, no, ca the, the casing. That's, 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 yeah, that's my case, yeah. <laughs> All right, if you guys want us to tell where we were calling our sergeant to get our bomb squad kind of notified of the situation, if we want to come out and dispose of it. Otherwise, we usually do the disposing, but at this given time. That's a lot, the disposal. <laughs> you just never know. So, like I said, the fact that you guys even got it up here, you did what you were supposed to do by contacting us in the south. We respect that, so. We'll sit tight until they show up and I'll be interested to kind of see what they do if they're gonna log in and try to jump on in there and find the rest of it. And mm -hmm. You might just step it off the road. I don't care if you videotape, but oh, you yeah. get hit by somebody. It's kind of a busy area too. That's what I'm kind of shocked you found them down here. A lot of people come around. Obviously, probably don't magnet fish every single day. Throwing right into a pipe math or Matherton. I said Matherton. <laughs> it's not what it is, but anyways, in that area, it's kind of like I said, more secluded and rural. So you probably find some good stuff up there if you want to go. May not have been dropped there, but it, it could have picked up and floated down, and it's crazy, especially with all the rain we've had recently. You'll that's get us, stuff. and that safe wasn't there a month ago when I was yeah, there. It's crazy. What uh, magnet? What's the strength of your magnet? About two to three tons. Uh, mine's 2400. Mine's about. Mine. I don't know what mine is. It's still prototype. <laughs> I made the mistake. It was in the way one day, so I stuck it to the guardrail, <laughs> not even thinking. And the guy oh. like, "Oh man!" I'm like, "Sorry, man." <laughs> They ended up, they were, it was one of the ends, so you had to slide oh, yeah. it off to snap it. <laughs> Once you get the newer ones that are coming out of this prototype, the 360s, you get two of them stuck together, it's impossible I almost. Hope. I believe yeah. it. The magnets or the rounds? No, the rounds. It all depends on what's in it. It looks like there might be white phosphorus, and if that gets, if, I mean, the one. That one we pulled up that was broken, I could see white stuff on it, so I just set it down, yeah. it was making noise. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll flame up. That was your mat, that plastic box? Yeah, yeah. We may use that. That's fine, you yeah, can have it if you want. Well, it, we may just, we just have to, you guys got any place close where we, if we have to counter charge these, we can take them? Well, you want to quarry your gravel pit? That'll work. Old uh, farmer's I know old Trooper Shattuck, his uncle owns a gravel pit over off Riverside, okay. south of Iowa. That'd yeah. probably work. Probably um, make a phone call to him. Yeah, that would, that would probably be the best. So we got one, trooper we got two troopers in them we got the bomb chief out here he's actually taking a look at them measuring them right now and they might actually take them to a farm or state land to detonate them so we'll get back to you guys oh the ones we found were blue okay blue generally 
generally indicates um, uh, training. Training. Yeah. Um, like the band over here. That's what we're all. Which one do you want? The red one? Oh, yeah. Back? Them. They do come on HE yeah. versions. We didn't get our work on it today. Well, it's better than my. Uh, yeah, if you want to buy us some uh, measuring Can we get the ballistic oak, please? Again, because I, I have a feeling there's a lot more in there. Yeah. We're on that right side. The bridge. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we we threw out, threw out. Because it looks like whatever ball. box it was in was way taller than that. And them three kind of box down there. No, the, 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 what it's connected to. There's like parts of bo a box. You want to wait here a minute, or do you want to throw it out a few times to try to catch? We yeah, can try to get another yeah. one. Yeah. So we're gonna be trying to see if we can't locate any more of these for the bomb squad before they leave. I know there might be more in here, but who knows? We're just pulling off nails. And yep, just some little pieces of metal. There's a that's a post. Got one. And I just clicked something big. So Jeff just found another one while they're here. Yeah, while the bomb squad's here, I just found another one, y'all. That's crazy. <laughs> Heck yeah. What'd you find over here, Danny? Oh, that's an old uh, motorcycle muffler. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a motorcycle muffler is what that is. I thought it was just a small muffler. No, that's definitely a motorcycle. Well, nice, got a motorcycle muffler. Huh, My luck is changing since I found the horse Yeah. Here. Oh, I hear Danny hollering over here. I might need your help with the gloves. I ain't got my gloves. Oh, that's oh, like a whole window. And a horseshoe. And a horseshoe. By a... Oh, look at Dude. that luck. That is luck if I've ever seen it. That is straight up luck. I just caught that with the horseshoe. <laughs> How'd you do that? Look at that. That horseshoe is hung up on like that. Hey, that's cool. That worked as a grappling hook. Hey, look. That's an old uh, mirror or old window. Oh, look at that. You know what that is? That's the back of a camper window. Oh, you know what that's too? That's yeah. to that, that pop-up. Yeah. That's to the part that we found. Oh, stuff. yeah. Oh, yeah. You found a pop-up. Then you're pretty cool. It's like a Clydesdale horseshoe too. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Pretty cool. Second. All right, everyone, that's going to go wrap up today's video. Today was an amazing day. It was so crazy. It started bad for me at first. I really wasn't finding anything, broke my glasses. But we ended up finding eight horseshoes, and then we had to have the bomb squad come out. I found my first artillery shell. It's from about World War I. It's a, what, a 20 millimeter one? And uh, we ended up finding 20 of them total. We actually found the last one while bomb squad was here. They wanted us to fish a little bit to see if they were going to have divers come out. They might have divers come out if we find any more. But as they said, if we do find any more, give them a call, call the police. They'll come back out here, they'll do the whole nine yards again and take it out for us and go detonate it in the field. They actually went 10 miles up and detonated them. Um, they said we couldn't come, it's too dangerous for us. For our safety, we needed to stay away. So we sat here and fished for a little bit and I got a horseshoe, not just one, but two tours then. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed me fishing with Jeff and you wanna see more of us, make sure to comment down below. Make sure to head over to Jeff's channel and subscribe if you aren't already. But if you guys enjoyed the bomb squad coming out here for today's video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell up top for notifications. And until next time, peace out and have a wonderful day. See ya.